Welcome to Star Citizen and the ship guide to the Speria Blade. And as in every ship guide, we start with the exterior. The interior is omitted in this light fighter, which is only a cockpit. Check the operational possibilities, whereby these are limited here purely to combat. Go over to the atmospheric flight and finally draw a conclusion. The Blade is the standard light fighter of the Vendul forces and is the backbone of the Vendul fleet. Whether as a scout, Escort for bomber or larger ships or as an interceptor, this light fighter finds a use everywhere. One more reason to take a closer look at this special model. And like all other current Vandul ships, the Blade will get a complete optical overhaul in the foreseeable future, but more details at the end of the guide. The Spiria Blade is classified as a light fighter in the size small, whereby the dimensions due to the large wing surfaces are rather expensive. The components are in the size small, noticeable as a single power supply, two shields and as expected, no cargo capacity. In game, the blade is available for purchase from Astro Armada on Area 18 for just under 3.4 million Alpha UEC. On the Pledge Store, this alien ship is available to limited sales for an expensive $275 in the standalone version. The ship has no amenities or extras beyond pure combat capabilities. And as is often the case with Vandul ships in general, or their replicas of Superior, the ship's armament is so far not interchangeable and consists of plasma laser energy cannon mix. With two times size 3 fixed plasma cannons as well as two times size 2 fixed laser cannons, which are all not exchangeable, the damage potential is only mediocre. Here the blade reached values which are in the range of most light fighters, but here rather in the lower range. The missile potential, which is available with 8x size 1 missiles, also offers only average damage values. The total missile potential reached about 23,000 damage points, which is not to be underestimated in the light fighter category. The recommended combat speed is 214 meter per second on average. The maximum speed is also 1238 meter per second on average. With 1800 DPS as well as an alpha damage of 380, the blade cannot mirror the enormous damage values of the medium Vendul fighters, the side and the glaive, and offers here only average damage values, which is due to the not changeable armament again a larger disadvantage. The range in normal flight is rather low, the quantum range is average. In the area of agility and maneuverability, the blade offers good, though not top values. Let's move on to the only use for this light band dual fighter so far, the combat capabilities of this Piria blade. A journey through the darkness Through the deepest and the hardest I wear the scars like tattoos Every single break in blue So I know what the cost is here we tested in PvE from the smallest targets up to hammerheads and capital ships, all available enemy types and available constellations, as well as any special abilities and the missile potential. Anything. 
especially against targets which have one or two shield generators of the size small, the firepower of the plasma laser cannon combination is mostly sufficient. But we are more dependent on hits of the size two laser cannons for a final elimination of the targets. In direct combat against smaller interceptors and life fighters, the blade is equal in agility and speed, making smaller targets interesting for the blade. Against larger targets, starting with the Drake Cutlass series or freelancer variants, which have medium-sized shield generators, significantly more hits are required, resulting in a noticeably longer combat phase. Here a few hits are initially necessary to disable the shields, which can be done comparatively quickly. However, for a sufficient damage against the hull, often countless hits are necessary. Against enemies of the category high risk or very high risk, we are also faced with the same problem, that we can switch off the shields comparatively fast, but the hull damage and finally the destruction of the enemies needs comparatively much time and hits. Therefore, this barrier blade is mainly suitable against medium category targets, although we already have to have quite a high combat endurance against hurricanes. A small plus is the missile armament of the blade, which with a time size 1 has a sufficient high damage potential. The standard is Arrow 1 infrared missiles, which can generate a damage potential of 23,000 points. However, firing in unguided mode, firing at short range without missile lock, is not possible since the missiles are not directed forward, but are fired at an uncontrolled angle forwards. The defensive capacities are average for a light fighter and sufficient with two size small shields. The hull hit points are in the midfield, but the blade is subjectively more resistant than other representatives of the light fighter category. In summary, the Spirea blade offers a rather below average armament with sufficient defensive capacities, as well as a good maneuverability. If we were possible to change the ship's armament, this light fighter would be in the range of a gladius. However, due to the limited armament, without the bonus of other Vendul ships, a significantly increased firepower, no significant combat average is given. So the blade is due to the strong competition in the category of light fighters, rather in the lower range to find. Special features of other Vendul ships are the corresponding Esperia replicas such as extendable and usable blades are not available on the blade. Now we come to the atmospheric flight characteristics of the Esperia blade. In atmosphere flight, the good maneuverability becomes apparent, with handling in atmosphere being described as pleasant and direct. As also, direct changes and maneuvers master the blade corresponding to a light fighter well. Rolling up another one. Yeah, man. Rolling up another one. Let's come to the conclusion for the Esperia blade. The damage potential is in the range of light fighters in the midfield, with disadvantages that this cannot be changed, and the defensive area's sufficient capacities. The agility as well as the speed is good, all through not to be found in the upper class. Amenities we find neither as weapon compartments, storage or anything else, which is however with the Vandal ships generally a shortcoming. Therefore, we can only conditionally recommend the Esperia Blade in its current state, as there are significantly stronger, less and better equipped light fighters that can be used, which are already significantly cheaper in-game, and especially available in the Pledge Store.
Finally, we take a look at the upcoming visual revision of the Asperia Blade, which will be released in conjunction with the single-player expansion Squadron 42. I hope you enjoyed the video and leave me a like and maybe even a subscribe here. The Spiria Blade is a light fighter for lovers of alien ships, which can score with fancy optics. The damage values as well as the ship data and possibilities are however limited and for the cold prices clearly lacking. But as always, I'm interested in your opinions on the subject. What do you think of the Spiria Blade? Feel free to write me in the comments, in Discord or in the almost daily Twitch livestreams. And as always, the most important at the end, a big thank you to all Patreons, channel members and Twitch subscribers. Without you, this would not be possible in this form. You are a huge motivation. Thank you for your support, guys. You definitely rock! And of course, there will be extensive giveaways again this month. How you can participate and what to expect, you can see in the following announcement trailer. And also the Big Toby event, where you can pick up countless prizes just by watching our streams is still in full swing. Details can be found right after. I say goodbye until next time, see you soon and as always, see you in the verse. I was always inclined to make history, but I never really had the time. Spent my life living dangerously, never worried how I'm getting by. I'm out here working, trying to do what I can. I'm out here sweating, dripping blood from my hands. Doing what I'm good at. Trouble comes for me, it was always gonna find me out I'm gonna keep on walking, taking what I need Ain't nothing gonna touch me now I'm out here working, trying